and welcome back to Teton Todd's Mountain Adventures. You know, sometimes in the fur trade you find interesting little aspects of mountaineer life that are easily overlooked. One of those little aspects is mountaineer footwear. If you look at the journal of Osborne Russell, you, you see them talking about using blanket strips to wrap their feet instead of stockings that we, we use today. Now they may have had some footwear, some stocking wear, as they left St. Louis. But obviously that would quickly wear out in rugged use in the mountains. So they had to have a way to replace their stockings with something else. Now obviously mountaineers had blankets with them. So I'm here today with two good mountaineers who came all the way from Sweden to teach us a special little trick about footwear. Here we have Sebastian Shaler and Charlie Broomquist. Okay? We call Sebastian Char and Charlie Muleskinner over here. And they're going to show us how to do this foot wrap, which they call in Sweden... How do you say it? Foot lapper. Foot lapper. Okay. So stand by and we'll show you that. Well, we're going to show you how to use a piece of blanketing or, or wool blanket like this. It's 16 by 16 inches. And uh, we're going to use it as footwear and shove it into a pocket toe moccasin. So here we go. You put it like this. And you put your foot on it. And then you start by taking the outside flap like that and wrap it under your foot then the inside flap do, the, do it the same way and then you can step on it and lock it down then you have this toe flap here which is the last thing you'll wrap and put it like this that way when you shove, you shove it down your moccasin it'll stay locked so you just take your moccasin and there, there it'll stay put. Then you just push it down. Like that. And wrap it as usual. Tie it up. Okay, now can you use multiple pieces? I guess you could, yeah. I prefer a thicker piece of blanket instead. To oh, I see, warmer. I see. Yeah. Rather than multiple, one, a thicker blanket. Yeah, probably, yeah. Okay, great. And does that shift around inside your moccasin when you're walking? No, not from my experience. No, I had no problem with that. Okay, great. Excellent. Charlie, uh, how do you use those on winter moccasins? First a blanket, a thick one, like Whitney or something like that. Okay. Then I have um, one moccasin made of um, woolen, uh, cheap. What do you call it? Sheepskin? Sheepskin, yeah. Okay. Just an uh, ordinary side seam and then um, outside uh, moccasin side seam too. Fantastic. Big one. How long have you been using these, these foot, this, what do you call it in Swedish? Footlapper. Footlapper, okay. Yeah. Couple foot, of, foot, foot pieces. Or foot yeah. pieces. Yeah. Couple of years. Couple of years. Yeah. And where did you come up with this idea? Well, actually, it's, uh, well, it's an old Swedish tradition. Before we, we used socks, we used pieces like this and it was a army a, and uh, yeah the cavalry I learned it from my father he's an old farrier on, in the cavalry, so okay. cavalry and he's 83 now so he he taught me how to do it great and it's been yeah real good yeah. been right. out in different all sorts of weather yeah. so this worked great yeah okay it seems to be an old-fashioned method that we forgot about because uh, maybe long before we had socks, they wrapped their feet in some kind of animal furs or something. So Probably, yeah. And to, to me, it looks like a very historically correct way of doing footwear um, versus socks, you know, stocking. And they are easy to dry. Uh, easy. Just, just yeah. put them to the campfire and you heat them up on one side and they get dry in no 15, time, yeah. 15 minutes. Everybody knows to hang up in the woolen sock close. You have to turn it around and turn it around and the water goes to the end of the sock. So mm. those are real good. Huh? And because of the more compact material compared to a regular sock, I believe it keeps more air close to your foot in, kept in the material, which is the insulation that keeps your foot warm, even though wet. Right. Excellent. And well, fantastic. Last point? And maybe uh, you have a lot of layers, maybe Yeah, when you, when you wrap the, the toe piece yeah. up to your uh, ankle, uh, you get a lot of layers up here. But because of all the shallow blood vessels, it'll, 
it'll keep them warm, and that's what keeps your foot warm, yeah. and that helps even more. Excellent. All right, boys. Well, thank you for introdu introducing us to that, and uh, hope uh, people on watching Teton Todd's Mountain Adventures have learned something a little more historically correct way to do footwear. Yeah. Hey, you guys have a safe trip back to Sweden. We will. So long. Okay. So long. So long.